Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I will be explaining uh, the detail related to Elasticsearch Lifecycle Index Management. So Elasticsearch support the Lifecycle Index Management to move the data across the different tier. That is hot, hot data, warm, cold, and delete tier. So what does that mean? It's basically data which we are frequently using that is in hot tier and subsequently data will, will move to the different uh, uh, tier like warm, cold, and delete. Before moving further, I'll be suggesting you guys to go through this Elasticsearch official document, which explain how to do, uh, because before applying policy and template, first of all, you need to create one Elasticsearch cluster with number of nodes. And those nodes we need to label with hot, warm, and cold. So here is, uh, they have explained how to do it. Okay. Since in this video, I'll be mostly focus on, focusing on the creation of the policy and how to push data. So you can uh, do this thing uh, uh, once you set up your, your cluster and you can label your nodes accordingly. So if you see now I am running my Elasticsearch on uh, this uh, uh, on localhost 9200 and my Kibana is running on a 5601. Okay, at present, I am not having any index over here. Okay, as you see, now let's start. So before starting, I need, I, I would like to explain how to apply policy, first of all. So what this policy do, this policy is nothing but telling Elasticsearch that uh, how the data should get rolled over to the hot to warm and warm to cold tier. So first thing, uh, in the hot tier, uh, I have mentioned that uh, once data size is reached to 200 KB, uh, it should move to the warm tier. And from the warm, data should move to the cold tier after 50 seconds. So since my this is for demo purpose, so and uh, in the interest of time, I just mentioned the uh, size is 200 KB. But in actual production environment, this size would be in the GBs, let's say 20 GBs. Uh, okay. And you want it to roll over from 20 GBs, once uh, size of the hot uh, tier reached to 20 GB, then data will move to the warm tier. And from warm tier, uh, after let's say, uh, um, here I just mentioned the 50 second, but in ideal case, it would be almost 30 days that you wanted to move to the cold tier. And finally, after 360 days, uh, it will move to the delete tier. But for the testing purpose, I just uh, reduce this duration to one, one day 50 second and uh, 200 KB. So let's apply this policy first. So once you apply this policy, you need to uh, create one template. And in the template, you need to give the name of the uh, policy that you have just created, okay? And this is a, uh, my index name, which in which I am going to push data. So two things important to remember, this index name and the policy. So let's create, because every policy needs some template. And once you create template, finally, you need to create one alias. This alias is nothing uh, but, nothing but is is a manually creating uh, initial index that we will use uh, uh, that we will use in our uh, index template and here is a snippet for that so let me create it okay so it created one alias for me alias name is enterprise survey okay now let me first execute this thing okay now you see it create one uh, hot tier first okay and nothing else is over here because anytime whenever you will be creating index it will be first of all in hot tier so now let's try to push some data into the elastic cell so this is my simple jupyter environment in which i am uh, reading some data from the csv okay this is my data in the pandas data frame and then via elastic search dsl api i am pushing this data into the elastic search so if you see I'm just pushing this data into less six. That's why DSL API. And if you don't know guys how to do this thing and what this code is about in my other videos, I have explained in detail about this video, uh, this code. So if you see it's running, so let it, uh, let's wait for some time to it to get complete. Okay. So it's just stored now. Let's run once more because we need some more data for this lifecycle index management. And then I'm running this thing. And again, I'm pushing data into the elastic search. Okay. So it's running. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So as you see, data got pushed to Elasticsearch index, index, and index name is Enterprise Survey. So let's now create the index pattern. So I will tell you how to do this thing. Go to Stack Management. Okay, 
just click on index management you see this enterprise survey right we just push now create the index pattern for that next step create index pattern okay now we have created the index pattern and just select this discover part so if you see now you should you should see some data over here right 30000 record we have pushed almost now let's go to the developer tool so uh, this is the develop elastic search uh, wherever we execute all this policy and template it's the elastic search developer tool that you can see from the management and dev tool tab so now just see uh, because elastic search understand the uh, rest uh, api so this is the api that we need to hit to get the status of lifecycle index management so now if you see if you run over here data is in hot tier currently now push some more let's push some more data over here because we need data to be in the warm tier as well so once it reach to the the size that we have given over there then data will reach to the cold tier as well sorry warm tier uh, as well So it's still executing. So I just pause for a few minutes. Uh, yeah. So if you see now, uh, when I just re-execute it, uh, few of uh, you see the phase is as hot. Okay with enterprise survey 0002 and the another phase is a warm phase okay which is enterprise survey 00001 so in ideal production scenario there will be multiple index maybe uh, lakhs of index that would be in the hot tier with the hot phase okay that is this phase and another uh, there will be another uh, uh, multiple uh, indexes which will be in the warm state so this is the way we need we need to apply this policy uh, on the elastic search uh, index so that data can move to the different tiers and as i mentioned uh, we can use this data tiering uh, because uh, the more frequently used data would be coming coming into the hot tier and less frequently used eventually we will get moved to the warm cold and delete tier so that's all guys uh, if you like my channel and this video please do subscribe and uh, and even if you need the code base for this whatever the script uh, i have implemented uh, please keep me posted i will push it over github thanks everyone